The satisfaction of extracting a blemish releases dopamine, which activates the brain's reward center, explains Heather Berlin, PhD, a neuroscientist and assistant professor of psychiatry at Icahn School of Medicine at Mount Sinai Hospital in New York City. <coughs> Jesus, that was a mouthful. There's a cycle of anxiety or arousal before the act and a sense of relief after, she says, so there's a physical release of pressure from the extracted blackhead or squeezed whitehead, as well as a mental sense of calm and, uh, calm and fucking fuck! Fuck! I did the whole paragraph with no mistakes! Till the very end. As well as a mental sense of calm and pleasure. It's hard to fight that combo. Oh, that explains it. Hello everyone, my name is Leon Lush, and welcome back to another few minutes of mental and ocular torture, or, <laughs> or absolute bliss, depending on what kind of freak you are. Now the passage I read in the intro just a minute ago is from an article by the Huff Post by someone named Liza Goins, and it's kind of just about this, this phenomenon around why there's like this feel-good mechanism behind extracting you know, whiteheads, blackheads, pimples, whatever it is. Now, I know most of you watching know what I'm talking about, and some of you have probably even had that ex-girlfriend or boyfriend that was just a little too obsessed with taking care of your whiteheads or whatever. So you'd be like watching Jumanji 2 on the couch, smoking a fat cone, just kicking it, and you'd get to, like all snuggle up together, and all of a sudden she'd be like, "Ooh, let me get that fucking," and start going after the whiteheads. Fucking get off me, bitch! I want to pop my own shit. Now acne fucking sucks. There's no, there's no way around that. And there's this whole spectrum of severity when it comes to acne, whether you're in your teens or even as an adult. But there is just this kind of this weird gratification you get when you just, when you have a good one, it's ready to go and you just hammer that shit. But the subject I now want to broach with you is on a whole nother level of, woo wee. Just like, it's almost to the point of fetishism, which is like these massive cysts and fucking tumors and growths being extracted, and people get off on this shit. We get a lot of videos that kind of go viral, that drum up a lot of excitement, and they really grow like a snowball. She's not kidding. And these viral extraction videos have garnered her over 3.7 million subscribers on YouTube, 2.7 million followers on Instagram. She's pulling 60, 70 million views a month. Popping people's shit! Introducing Dr. Sandra Lee, better known in the online world as Dr. Pimple Popper. Dr. Pimple Popper. Now, Dr. Lee, who's a dermatologist back in 2014, decided to start documenting or recording some of these procedures of these extractions she was doing. And she noticed, she would upload them to Instagram, and she noticed that there was a huge uptick in traffic, engagement. It was like it was really resonating with this audience. So she decided to double down, started doing it more, posting YouTube videos. And now with a thousand YouTube videos later, in a couple years, she's a fucking internet celebrity and a rock star amongst the medical community. With hits such as Dilated Pour of Winer, Giant Blackhead, A Huge Schist Like a Doorknob, Hard Boiled Eggs Anyone, and A Gold Mine of Blackhead and Whitehead Extractions, it's no secret why she's found success on the internet. Now there is a massive community of people that love this shit. Now me personally, I'm more cut from the cloth that's like 95% repulsed and 5% aroused, and it makes me feel a little strange and disgusting inside. Now, since I'm sure some of you feel the same way, and I know firsthand how it feels watching shit like this, it just, whoa, gives me that, whew. I'm gonna try to avoid, you know, like I typically do in a reaction video where I show a lot of footage from the thing I'm watching. I'm gonna try to avoid the graphic stuff because I wouldn't wanna actually, I mean, it's, it's, ugh, I wouldn't, I wouldn't do that to you guys. Gotcha, bitch! <laughs> oh, fuck, that was disgusting. Now that uh, that clip was from a video, a 22-minute video called "No More Unicorn" with Dr. Pimple Popper. It has almost 15 million views, and uh, it's about the, the gentleman you saw. They he's he has a he had a um, well, it was like a uh, you fucking you saw what it was. <laughs> Now, I'm not going to fuck you up again like that. I'm, I, that was my bad. It was my bad. That was on me. I'm sorry. Please don't unsubscribe. I'm just curious. I'm, like, perplexed by this whole phenomenon. Now, one part of me understands, like, there is a large population of people that have these cysts or these gross or these legions and things that need to be taken care of medically, and it's necessary, and it's good. They should be taken care of. And I feel bad for people that have to go through this. A lot of them are very public and visible and can probably be psychologically damaging 
and uh, it's good to get treated. And I think what Dr. Lee does, I think, is fantastic, and especially since she's good at it. But the part that I find strange is that there's millions and millions of people that watch this shit as entertainment. Oh. Woo! Man, what a motherfucking day. I am beat. Nigel, 12 hour shift. I am ready to relax. Let's go ahead and watch Dr. Pimple Popper blow up some fucking disgusting cysts. That'll, that makes me feel good. Wow, that unicorn actually deflated. These videos never disappoint. Whether just short of five minutes or up to a half hour, it's amazing how the human body will make room for stuff it no longer needs. I don't know why I like watching these, especially while I'm eating. What the it's very satisfying to watch all of that pus come up. Mm -hmm. Oh. It's disgusting, but these vids are due entertaining. <laughs> well said. My boyfriend hates his skin because he has blackheads on his face and back, but he won't do anything them because he's a big baby who loves when I pop them. You see, this is this is like those ex-girlfriends I was telling you about earlier in the video that just fucking get in there, all up in your business, popping your shit. Gotta watch out for these ones. Little side note here, there was a part in the video where this guy said he, he had lived with this for six years. How long like... ago was that? Like six years ago. And I'm thinking to myself, man, that must have been terrible to have this growth in the middle of your fucking forehead for six years. But most of me is thinking, why in the name of Mother Nature's furry asshole did you let this shit go on for six years before seeing someone? Did he say he had it for six years? <laughs> I know! What the fuck? I mean, I guess I kind of understand given how difficult it is to pick up a phone and make an appointment with a dermatologist. Hi, yeah, I'd like to schedule a consultation about a possible unicorn horn trying to sprout out the front side of my face. Yeah, on the 15th? Yes, yeah, 1.30, sure. Yeah, that sounds great. All right, thank you so much. I'll see you then. That's literally all it would have taken. Six fucking years. All you had to do was that. Anyway, I digress. But Leon, maybe he was poor or he didn't have good medical insurance and he couldn't do it. No, fuck that. Fuck that shit. If that's me, I'm selling my pancreas and one of my kidneys and getting that shit lopped off immediately. This is a doctor who has 2.5 million followers on Instagram. Her videos have over half a billion views. And her most popular YouTube videos have been viewed over 36 million times. That's Sandra Lee MD, who you might know as Dr. Dr. Pimple Popper. Now, Dr. Sandra Lee has gotten a shitload of press. She's been in all the big magazines. There's been articles written about her all over the place. She's been on like the, the morning show, Good Morning America. She's like I said, a rock star, but everybody knows that the true measure of someone's worth is whether or not the Kardashians know who you are. Have you ever seen the Instagram Dr. Pimple Popper? Every single post is about like squeezing something. Okay, she's officially God status. And I noticed though early on that when I would post a blackhead extraction video, I would get an interesting uptick in um, you know, likes. Uh, People either really strongly liked it or they strongly uh, disliked it or sh were shocked by it. But either way, they tagged their friends. I mean, what's the first thing you think of when you witness a disgusting blackhead extraction? Tag your friends. Tag a fucking friend. Holy fuck, that's gross. Jimmy! Jimmy, check this shit out! Oh, fuck! You know what, I bet Steve and Joe would love to see this. I think one of the main reasons people enjoy watching these videos is because they're sort of satisfying to them, they're relaxing to them. There's another group of people that like to uh, watch these videos and that's people who like them for education purposes. They're very interested in skin, their own skin and how to take care of their skin so they want to learn more about this. Now, I'm sure there's some aspiring dermatologists out there that are watching this for educational purposes, but let's not pretend that most people are out there like, well, if I got a golf ball sized cyst on my face, it'd be good to know what to do with it. No, no, no. This is for pleasure. People watch this shit with their hand on their dicks because they're sick fucks, and I know you're out there watching. I'm looking at you. I know there's some of you out there that watch this shit and it makes you, oh yeah, pus coming out. Oh, look at that fucking cyst pus, that epidermoid coming out. Ah! Social media has changed my life. It has been stratospheric, really, the exposure that I get as a dermatologist. We have people traveling from around the world, essentially, to, to see me in my little old office in Southern California. Now, she's not wrong. The power of social media 
is truly remarkable. I'm sure she's booking clients five, six years in advance now because she can't keep up with the demand because of the exposure from her online success, not to mention the money she makes on the side in addition to being a dermatologist. Let's just say that Dr. Sandra Lee is not waiting in the soup line. It's fascinating to me that I helped to build this. We're changing lives. We are fixing things in people that affect their personality, their emotional well-being, and we're helping to make them better. Listen, I totally agree. I think it's fantastic that she's able to use her skill set to help these people that have these very obscure um, problems, these growths, and allow them to heal and hopefully move forward with their lives. I'm just a little suspect of the people that get home from their day job and then throw on a couple episodes of Dr. Pimple Popper while they're eating their leftover meatloaf. What is, what are you, what is that? What, why, what, what are you doing? Now those clips were from her channel welcome video, so you get a little overview of what she does. You get to see how much press she's gotten. It's kind of like her little highlight reel she threw together for her channel, probably for, you know, press and publicity purposes. But she's done so well that she's got her own TLC show now. Six episodes, sign on, on a TLC show. And I actually, this is how I found out about Dr. Pimple Popper. I was scrolling through Twitter the other day, and someone had retweeted the trailer for the show, and I was like, mother fuck, what? Oh! And then I was looked into it, and here we are. I realized she was a massive YouTuber, an Instagram star, and like a fucking rock star dermatologist, and it just uh, it piqued my interest. And uh, and here we are. I never comment, but I've watched every video from day one. Thank you, Dr. Sandra Lee. That is true commitment. Hashtag Pus Gang. Seriously, I love your channel. It's my calming before sleep routine. What? I would probably classify it more as nightmare fuel if you're watching these for hours before you go to sleep, but uh, we all are different, aren't we? Love watching, but have you slowed putting up new videos, Dr. Lee? There just don't seem to be as many as, say, there used to be two to three months ago. <laughs> oh, Zandane. What you see here, folks, is a popaholic looking for a fix. You used to do four videos a week, Dr. Lee. You used to be four videos every single week, and I got my fix. Now you're down to two videos. I need my motherfucking extract. Finally, Amy T says, we love you, Dr. Lee. Hard eyes emoji. And you know what, Amy? I couldn't agree more. Dr. Lee's doing great work. She's helping people out, and she's a fucking rock star and displaying the power of social media. When you find something, a niche that really resonates with people, the sky's the fucking limit. Some people, a lot of people love this shit. I, it's just a lot of people really, it's cathartic for them to watch these videos. Me, gives me the heebie-jeebies a little bit. But I could, there's like a fraction, a fraction of a percent in my, uh, in my brain and my heart that understands why this might be satisfying or gratifying for people. Uh, but it grosses me out a little. Anyways, what I want to know is how you feel about these videos. Are you a Dr. Pimple Popper fan? Do you get home from work and kick up your feet with a glass of wine and some caviar and watch a couple hours of Dr. Sandra Lee extracting whiteheads to unwind? You freak. <laughs> no, but seriously, you guys have been fucking fantastic. Thank you so much for watching. I always appreciate your time. I really, it's a treat to be here with you for a few minutes a couple times a week. So if you could do me a small favor before heading out, just head over to your neighbor's house, bring a spade, because you're gonna wanna dig up just a little patch of grass from his front lawn, then head back to your house. Hit that patch of grass with a little cracked pepper and some olive oil, toss it in the oven on 350, then pull down your pants, drop a deuce in your kitchen sink, and hip thrust that motherfucking like button for me. Boy, do I appreciate it. Thank you so much, and I'll see you soon. Deuces. <laughs> Fucking views, 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 views.